Bree. Yeah. They ain't hard to find you. Verse 20. <laughs> the people answered right. and said, That has a devil who goes about to kill thee. They say, I'm not sure y'all sure I got to have a devil. Who going about to kill you, Bree? Mashiach Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, I have done one work, and ye all marvel. Marvel. Moses therefore gave unto you circumcision, not because it is it, it is of Moses, but of the fathers. That's right. The Most High gave us circumcision I'm on the eighth day. The restroom. Okay. And ye on the seventh day. And ye on the Sabbath day circumcise a man. That's right. On the Sabbath day, they circumcise a man. What they doing? On the Sabbath day, they doing some action, right? They circumcising a man. They gotta cut it, they gotta cut the skin off his scrotum and all of that. On the Sabbath day, the Pharisees and these scribes. And what he doing? He made a man to see. And he, he made a man that was crippled all his life to walk. Pick up his bed and walk. Me. Okay, go to uh, St. John 5, 19 to 22. Is that where you were at? Uh, give me 5, 19 to 22. St. John chapter 5 and verse 19. Then answered Marsha Yahweh Shai and said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, the Son, the Son can do nothing of himself, but what he sees the Father do. He ain't taking no credit for nothing. He said he's doing what he see the Father do. Read. For what things soever he doeth, these also doeth the Son likewise. So what he see the Father do, that's what he does. He didn't make himself with no reputation. Read. For the Father loveth the Son, and showeth him all things that he that, that himself doeth. And he will show him greater works than these, that ye may marvel. For as the Father raises up the dead and quickeneth quicken them, even so the Son quickeneth whom he will. But the Father judges no man, but hath committed all judgment unto the Son. Hear that? And see, once Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, what's the one thing that Hamashiach Yahweh Shai did when they came to get him? And they did get him. One thing he did, when he did that, that's when they came and got him, the wicked Israelites. He raised Lazarus from the dead, just like he just said. That's when they came to get him. Lazarus had been dead for four days, right? And they came, and they watched, and they heard about it. So we got to get him now. We have to get him, else all men going to believe on him. That's what it's all about. You got to see this. It was about power being over men. They were afraid of losing their power with the Romans and the power that they had over the children of Israel. So everybody going to follow him. This ain't about, this ain't about what he was about. And what we supposed to be about? Supposed to be messengers bringing forth this truth, and whoever gonna hear, gonna hear, and they gonna adhere to the truth. Period. That's all it is. Just a messenger. Read. That's it. Hamas was shy as our king, our leader. That's our leader. We all under him. And when he come back, he gonna put everything in order, as it should be. Give me Matthew 11, 27. Matthew chapter 11, verse 27. All things are delivered unto me. You know what he said? Everything delivered unto a Mashiach that was shot. Of my father. On the father. And no man knoweth the son but the father. No man know the son, Mashiach was shot, but the most high. Read. Neither does any man the father save the son. So if you don't know a Mashiach was shot, you think you know the most high? He said, don't nobody know the father but me. A Mashiach was shot. Read. And he to whomsoever the son will reveal him. To whomever the Most High allow Hamashiach Yahweh to reveal himself to, the Most High to, that's who Hamashiach Yahweh lets know of the Father. He lets you know of the Father through him. Give me Matthew 11, verse 
through 28 and 18. So we're looking at all these different scriptures that's pertaining to how the Most High is highly exalted the Mashiach Yahweh Shai, y'all. Read that. Matthew chapter 28 and verse 18. And Mashiach Yahweh Shai came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me. Hear that? Once again, he said, All power is given unto him. It's given unto me in heaven and in earth. Hear that? All power has been given to him in heaven in the fourth dimension and in earth. Read. Verse 19. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. So be it. So he said, we got to go out and teach all nations. Because why? Israelites are what? Scattered in, among all nations. Scattered among the Gentiles. Scattered among the heathen. So we got to reach out to everyone. But we don't know. You can't look at somebody and say they're Israelite. You should want to be an Israelite. The chosen of the Most High. Daniel 7 and 18. No, 13 and 14. Not 18. 7. Yeah, Daniel 7 chapter. Verse 13 and 14. Daniel chapter 7 and verse 13. I saw in the night visions, and behold, one like the Son of Man came with the clouds of heaven. That's right, he came with the clouds of heaven. The clouds of heaven, right? The clouds are the chariots of the Most High. Give me that in uh, hold that. Give me Psalms 104 and 3. And then go to Acts. But we're going to show you exactly what happened. He died, he rose from the grave on the third day. He walked the earth for 40 days. Then he ascended to the right hand side of the Most High. And that's what Daniel's getting ready to talk about. And we're going to show you what happened. Psalm chapter 104 and verse 3. Just to make sure that you understand when you hear these clouds what it is. Who layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters? Who maketh the clouds his chariot? So the clouds are his vehicles. Like what the white man call a UFO. We call them IFOs, identified flying objects. He call them un unidentified flying objects. Yeah. I'm gonna bring out I'm gonna bring out an article where this newspaper came out and interviewed us, and as they was interviewing us, a chariot came right over these like these build high as these buildings is in Pasadena. A chariot came right over our heads, right there, and they had to write about it. And, and JPL sent a blimp to him. Oh, it's not a UFO, it's not a UFO. What else was it? <laughs> it stood like this, it was horizontal, just like this. And they came out to interview us, right? It's in the paper. And it, and it was like this, horizontal, and it went vertical, just like this. And faced the east. And all of it came, two chairs on one side, two chairs on the other side, them two per perfectly joined together at the same time. Remember they facing the east. They joined together like this and they faced the east and it said went back horizontal like this and it said Whoop, disappeared. Pow, right above the buildings. I'll bring the article out and read it to you. That's the power of the most high. The power of my shot that was shot. He showed his power. We got Acts the first chapter. And start at about the uh the eighth verse. So now, he done rose. He died. He rose on the third day. He done walked the earth for 40 days. Now, I thought about the, uh, I think it's about the eighth verse. Acts chapter 1 and verse 8. But you sure, let's see, uh, no, start at about, start at, that's okay right there. 